welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Bayola Party Heaven, and today I am so excited about today's video. Why am I excited? Because this video is sponsored by Ellie Box. They are the not one of the leading um, helium gas provider in the UK, and they have sponsored this video. Um, this is Ellie Box. A Possible canister for helium for your balloons Um, the reason why I would recommend this is because You know a lot of times we say oh the, it says what it doesn't say on the box, but it actually says what it says This box has all the information you need on you know on using the canister It's it's got like two different sizes So this is the mini one and then we have the bigger one um, I'm going to introduce the bigger one in my next video um, So also the good thing about them sponsoring my videos is that now we have I'm able to like you know put out like maybe two videos in a week because they have sponsored my you know some of my videos um, So you guys please show them some love the reason another reason why I would recommend this is because I know a lot of us use the big helium canister But there are times you do not know how much helium you have left in the big cans so if you you need to have one of this as your backup so when your helium finishes you have this you know to substitute that you have when, when you're you know a lot of times we prepare our balloons before we go to the venue when you have this in your car you are sure that you have a backup plan if your balloon pops on the way to deliver so get one of this and the good thing is they've offered us 10 percent Oh, for everyone watching this video, I'm going to link their um, website in the description below. And so also, if you're stuck about, you know, um, instructions on how to use this helium canister, just um, there's a video on the website that will tell you, you know, show you how to use it. I'm going to be showing you how to use it now too. And then there's a video on the website you can refer to on how to use it so grab the offer now 10 percent off um i think this one is this tank is like 30 pounds and you don't have to pay for delivery if you're in the uk another thing is that they ship worldwide um shipping outside of the uk you have to pay for but the uk delivery i think you it's yeah, not i think it is actually free free delivery it's transparent on the website this tank would inflate i am um, 16 11 inches and the um, what's it called the the bigger tank would inflate 25 11 inches and for foil balloons it inflates um i think 14 so it's a great you know backup that you can have here and it's so pretty so small it's not too big you know and they have instructions on how to dispose it you know how to use the tank um so, so, so it, it's so good to you so guys go grab one make sure you have it in your car as your backup plan any box we're going to be showing you how to use it now so um i'm doing a bouquet um you know this is going to be like the first time i'll be doing an actual helium balloon bouquet so can we let's open the box together to see so see that's the box and then you bring up the tank so the tank is cute and small it's got instructions on it you know and then it's got the valve attached so you don't have to worry let me put the box on the side um, there's nothing inside the box so I love the color of the box because it's you know quite attractive to me um, and then this is the valve I'm going to be attaching that Uh, so what you need to do is you just screw it on here yeah, like so and it goes on it's tight and then you just open so my bouquet today has um, it's a just a mix of some colors and I'm going to be using iFloat because 
because I don't want the balloons going down too quickly. Though the balloon is for today, but it's best for you to use a high float. High float will help your balloon last longer and you won't have a client complaining and saying, oh, uh, my balloons didn't last long enough. Do you get me? So yeah, it's a great product to use. So what you just need is, you don't need to put too much high float in. You just put, let me show you. Just what, this is a small size. What I did was I bought a big jar of high float and then I got this small jar. I got it free from a training I attended. So I kept the bottle. So what I just do is I just tip in from the, the, the big bottle into this one. And I take this one everywhere with me because it's kind of like candy. So you just press one pump. Yeah, like that. Then pull out the balloon. And then you rub the eye float in. You don't let the eye float go to the neck. So you rub it in. Yeah. So with eye float, the balloon would last. It would last. You know, it would last for days. And then you just put it onto your Ellie. Ellie box canister. I'm going to open it here and it's easy to open too. Yeah, so it's open now. Then put your and I have my balloon and I get my Now, this is how I, I, I tie my, um, what's it called? My ribbon to my balloon. I do not tie the balloon first because I would need to adjust the length, the height of the balloon, our, the arrangement. So if you, to, to get the right arrangement, it's best you, you don't tie the balloon first. So you bring the balloon here, can you see? That's the balloon there. So this would enable me pull the balloon back and forth when I'm done inflating all the balloons. So then you tie off. And that's it. And that's my first balloon. Yeah? So I'm going to cut off the ribbon now. And then I'll put it onto my weight. So I'm just going to tie everything on and then when I'm done, I would adjust it. So if I was doing an arrangement with a, a mix of um, foil balloons, I put the foil last because the foil I cannot adjust after I've tied it. But the latex is easier to, you know, adjust after you've tied it. So I'm going to put my eye float in here again. Then I'll put it round. Um, you also need to make sure you're sizing your balloon right. about being able to like pull the ribbon can you see what I'm doing here so I pull the ribbon you know so that's the best practice for tying your balloon just tie it on like I said I would adjust later but for now Just tie it randomly. So this one I have double stuffed because I want the texture of all the balloons to like be similar. So I'm going to put my eye float. Actually, I'm not going to double. I'm not, I'm not going to eye float this because already 
there are two balloons in it and being, having two balloons in one makes it even last longer Th that's what I've observed so I'm just going to inflate this one yeah and the good thing about this is because other, other helium um, canisters I've tried it doesn't come out like this one, like the way this one is coming out. So I'm surprised and I'm really impressed. Because I'm not one to really, you know, mock about with stuff like this. But this is, I'm impressed about this. So you tie it onto your weights, like so. Put it on the side. Okay. Just one pump. You don't want to put too much, because if you put too much, you find out that your um, um, your balloon could go down easily. <laughs> There you have it.